Active set is a feature which gives you the ability to change your seating depth from the seat of the tractor on the goal. It can be used to change your depth between different crops, fields, or any areas of the field the operator chooses to seed at different depths due to moisture conditions or other factors deemed necessary for a different depth. There are a number of components required, the QDA cylinders must be smart cylinders. These cylinders have an internal position sensor. Once calibrated, the ECU will extend or retract them to get the desired setting. There are six valve blocks across the drill. These are used to control full oil to the QDA cylinders. Bluetooth antenna to send signal to the device you're using, either a phone or tablet that has the AccuSet app installed on it. Finally, the Borgo Implement Controller, or BIC ECU, that this is what controls what AccuSet is doing. This ECU is not connected to the Apollo system. It is completely standalone. This ECU is designed and developed by Borgo Industries specifically for our equipment. This is a representation of the BIC ECU. The final design may vary slightly. The harnesses for the system are connected to the BIC ECU as follows. First, for a three-plex drill, there are two harnesses, part number 3152-82, that plug into channel 1 and channel 2. Channel 1 connects to the front and rear QDA cylinders on to the right side and the SV valves for those four locations as well. The other harness plugs into channel 2 and goes to the left side of the drill. QDA cylinders and SV valves for those four locations. For a 5-plex drill, additional harnesses are required. For the outer wing QDA cylinders, first the Y harness is plugged into channel 3, part number 3152-84. It has tags indicating right and left side of the drill, and there are also two harnesses, part number 3152-83, that plug into each side and run to the corresponding side of the drill. These must be plugged into the correct sides for it to function properly. There is a Bluetooth antenna port to plug Bluetooth harnesses into to communicate with the device in the tractor. The power harness 3152-85 plugs into the ISO plug at the rear of the tractor and connects to the power and comm ports of the ECU. For tractors without an ISO plug, an additional harness, part 3152-86, is required to install on the tractor to get power from the tractor battery for the system. The remaining ports on the ECU are not used in this application. There is also an override harness, 3152-96. That is included. This harness is used in the event the BIC ECU fails. It can be used to raise and lower the drill without the ECU. It could be used to set drill to desired depth by installing the correct number of shims and lowering the machine onto them. There is a storage container located behind the ECU to store the harness when not in use. Leading air seeders will also require two additional harnesses mounted on the tank 3152-95, an ISO extension harness to run from the rear hitch to the tractor, and a Bluetooth antenna extension harness that goes from the rear hitch to the front handrail of the tank. Each of the channel harnesses have labels for where each connection has to be plugged into for each QDA cylinder. 
There are three connections, two to the SV, which have top and bottom on each one, and one to the corresponding QDA cylinder. So SV1 controls the rear cylinder, SV2 controls the front cylinder. Each also has a top and bottom portion to it. So the top, when powered, sends oil to the rod end of cylinder to lower the frame. The bottom, when powered, sends oil to the base end of the cylinder to raise the drill. These solenoids have internal springs to return them to a neutral position when not powered. In this position, the return side of the hydraulic system is open so that there is no pressure on these valves. The cylinders are held in position using two counterbalance valves in the block, CB1 and CB2. The AccuSet system is controlled using an app, AccuSet app, that has been loaded onto your mobile device. Once connected, you can raise and lower the drill on the screen of your device. First thing that should be done on a new system is to calibrate depth setting. To perform a calibration, first remove all depth adjustment shims prior to AccuSet calibration. Lock out the opener and MRV hydraulics. Engage opener hydraulic circuit in the proper direction. Start calibration on the AccuSet screen by touching on the Calibrate button at the bottom. The system will cycle from lowest setting of the hydraulic cylinder to the highest setting of the hydraulic cylinder to get the internal position sensor calibrated. Once this is complete, to verify it is calibrated properly, you could set your BIC at a setting of 5. Then you should be able to go to your shims, select 5. They should fit in or nearly fit in as the accuracy should be approximately 1 millimeter. The AccuSet should also be powered at all times when seating. The mainframe QDA cylinders are now four and a half inch bore. This allows us to carry the entire weight of the machine and transport on these cylinders and not require the shims to be installed. The depth of the opener is affected differently for each opener type. The PLS is the same as the old QDA in previous years. As you raise or lower the frame, the seed, the seed depth is changed by half the amount the frame changes, and the banders change by the same amount the frame changes. Total adjustment to seed depth is one and a quarter inches. For the PLDS, seed depth can be changed in total by one half inch. However, it can change the fertilizer shank by twice that amount and the bounders by up to two and a half inches. PLX adjustments can be made to C depth and MRB depth independently. You can change MRB depth and not affect seating depth. And you can also change seating depth and keep bounders at the same depth. Total adjustment to seating depth is three quarters of an inch. On a new drill, the seed depth should be verified across the entire width of the machine before assuming it is level. If the drill is not level, follow the drill leveling procedure in the drill operator manual. If a drill frame is re-leveled and red shims have been added or taken out, AccuSet must also be recalibrated.